on my I'm saying at 4,995 geocaches and uh, I have plans to go to just right around Richmond, Indiana to look for a geocache. Yeah, it wants me to go straight and I'm turning right. Um, just outside Richmond, Indiana, which would be about... Eh, I live at the 47 mile marker, so let's say 60 plus miles. And um, this particular geocache, it, it, it was kind of weird when I looked at it. It uh, has a hardness of a 3 and a terrain of a 3. And uh, it was hit in March of 2009, and no one has found it. But the weird thing is, there's only one person who is actually admitted to have looking for it, and that guy is a guy I know from my area. So, me and a friend, and we're going to head out there Tuesday, and uh, hopefully snag that as number 5,000. Um, hopefully. It'll be a little disappointing. A little disappointing if we don't find it, and uh, number 5,000 ends up being a uh, magnetic key holder on a guardrail or a lamp skirt hide. Speaking of lamp skirt hides, um, December, uh, this last Christmas, I got my iPhone, and uh, one of the very first applications that I uh, placed on it was a obviously a geocaching um, application and I went out um, geocaching by myself uh, about December 28th, 29th, something like that and maybe 27th, I forget the day and uh, went to Urbana, Ohio and one about 10 geocaches I grabbed that day happened to be a uh, silly looking container uh, underneath a lamp skirt near a Tim Hortons. Well, I grabbed it, replaced it, you know, signed the uh, paper in the, law, in the container, replaced it, and then got my cell phone application going, and I was looking for a couple caches to do. It was getting um, dusk, and the first four, the next four closest to me were uh, caches found in cemeteries, and um, <coughs> that was not, you know, you just don't go into cemeteries when, it, when it's dark. And some of them, you'll probably get arrested. So I got about a minute and a half to explain the full story. So I get home, and five to ten minutes later, the local police show up. Their orders from the Urbana Police Department was to detain me until their detective shows up. <laughs> um, they read me my rights and all the good stuff when the detective showed up. And uh, he, he had no clue what a geocache was. So uh, luckily we had one in, a, in our backyard that you can only get to from the other side of the fence from the cemetery. So we went out there and I showed them the geocache, showed them the multitudes of people that had hidden it. I took them on to the internet online and showed them how many other people had uh, already signed it before me and called my brother to go through the grapevine of phone numbers to uh, get the owner to call me. And the owner called, detective, uh, Ian please talk to him, maybe the detective, I forget. Long story short, yeah, and then it made the news. They called the bomb squad, all that silly stuff. Uh, but other than being slightly embarrassing and all that, uh, the person who hit it didn't get in trouble. I didn't get in trouble. And in fact, the guy who hit it actually went to the guy own, owner of Tim Hortons and requested permission. And I guess this is 10 minutes, so I got to go.